something that I found in my BIOS that, that helped me and it, it might help you, uh, might not help you. Um, I've read that there's been, uh, there are some issues with these settings, but what I want to, what I want to do is just show people, um, I'm like, I have my own setup and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm overclocked and I've got my XMP and whatnot. Um, so the setting is, uh, it's in, was it advanced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I have these PCIe. So if your GPU isn't uh, being utilized to its fullest performance, it's probably because of something uh, excuse me like this now uh, from so above 4g memory all right if your gpu is a gen 3 or higher you might want to activate this setting in your bios all right above 4g cryptocurrency mining um the manual, the manual doesn't really say that much. It doesn't explain that much. I had to do a bunch of reading myself, but from my simplistic understanding is that this setting here just allows for uh, more memory of your GPU to be utilized whenever it, it needs to be. It can draw more power. Um, you have to be on 64-bit, op a 64-bit operating system but what I did is I enabled enabled this, and then I enabled the resize bar, uh, which seems seems to help with my stuttering and and um, newer games, uh, older older games that I play like like older Counter Strikes or older versions of the Source Engine. It really doesn't matter because it uses my CPU a whole lot anyways. But but. Uh, these right here seem to have helped and actually I mean I don't know why I I don't know why I put um, both of these on Gen 3 uh, oh wait yeah because I, I have a M.2 NVMe SSD card that plugs right in so I I it, uh, turned it on to to Gen 3 because that's what it is so that the SSD can actually be utilized at, at that at that speed rather than rather than just like simply being auto um, from all of my uh, my testing and this is testing myself not uh, because most of the time when people tell you people tell you like uh, oh yeah dude when you're overclocking when you're when you're overclocking just um like like uh, this shit just leave it all on auto and I didn't I didn't fine-tune all of my my RAM speeds because it's just too much it's 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 too much for my my simple brain but like just keeping everything on auto isn't really that good uh like like up here I have I have my RAM voltage at 1.35 I manually put it in rather than it having to be on auto because usually things too usually too many things being on auto just uh, uh, causes me to crash or causes poor performance um, crashes usually were from um, were from uh, incorrect amounts of power being pulled so keep that in mind that like you don't always want, you don't always want your, your BIOS, your motherboard to be thinking for you. Sometimes, sometimes you just manually put it in and these weird issues are just gone. So, so yeah, uh, definitely, definitely turn this on, test it, play around, play around with these two sub settings and see if it, see if it helps you. Um, if you overclock. If you overclock, it's definitely a good idea to manually put in as many settings that you understand. Even if, 
even if your motherboard is pretty good and there's still things that I don't I don't fully understand that I um that I have to read more about because y you read you read the manual people tell you to go to the manual and the manual is just as useful as this like it'll literally say this and w well what does that mean what does that mean exactly well it doesn't really mean a whole lot basically basically all the help stuff does and the um information in the manual of a motherboard usually just points you in a direction to look up more information that's that seems to be just what it does in in my experience i'm sure there's other people who are really well versed with the stuff and and they just get it but uh they just understand but um if you're new to, if you're new to it newer like me definitely look up definitely just google as much as you can read as many forum posts of people who are these uh super nerds uh yeah so uh, yeah your integrated graphics you might want to select your actual gpu so that the motherboard isn't using integrated graphics if your cpu does have integrated graphics um so yeah if you have if you have any stutterings in your game just little things like that will probably help you uh, and increase your overall performance so yeah i hope uh hope this helps um play around man